गुड डे दिस इज योर स्टार्ट प्रो वीडियो फॉर मूविंग लोड जनरेशन क्लिक ऑन आईकॉन स्टार्ट प्रो टू थाउजेंड सेवन ऑन द डेस्कटॉप गो टू न्यू प्रोजेक्ट हाइपर लिंक अ डायलॉग बॉक्स विल बी डिस्प्लेड क्लिक ऑन स्पेस गिव द फाइल नेम एज ब्रिज गर्डर्स और एनी फाइल नेम रिलेट योर कन्वीनियंस Specify the location as you desire. Keep the units as meter and kilonewton. Click on next. Click on add beam and finally click on finish. A graphic user interface will be displayed. Click on edit in the snap node or beam window to your right. Select XZ plane. Click on obtain. Next Out of the seven options for view in the rotate toolbar, choose any top view option. Move the cursor to the visible grid pattern. If you get a blinking crossbar, it is okay. If not, click on snap load or beam button. Considering to draw a bridge of span length as 10 meters and carriage way width as 7.5 meters, we will draw three longitudinal girders at the spacing of 2.5 meters each. To execute click and drag the cursor from 0,1 to 10,1 Press escape key Select node cursor and with this node cursor click and drag to select the two nodes Now click on translation repeat a 3D repeat dialog box will appear Select global direction Z Owing to the fact that we need to draw the three beams parallel to x direction and perpendicular to y direction, change the number of steps from one to two, and default spacing to two point five. Click on OK. Displayed four nodes can be observed. Click on Add beams. Join the above four nodes with beams accordingly. Press escape. Select the node cursor again and click and drag to select the left three nodes. Then click on commands. Select support specification and click on pinned. create support dialog box will be displayed select assign and close the dialog box with the help of node cursor select the three nodes on the right again click on commands button and from the drop down menu select support specification and click on fixed but oblique spring in release column select fx mx mz and click on assign select close press escape key beam selection cursor will appear select the three beams by pressing control button and simultaneously clicking on the beams in the above step we assign hinged and roller supports on the left and right nodes respectively keeping in view the real life bridge applications Now click on commands button select member property from the drop down menu and select prismatic As we are going to analyze T beam girders we click on T in the property dialog box With due consideration to the journal data we will take the complete T beam depth that is YD as 1.8 meters The width of girders that is ZD will be taken as 2.5 meters. The depth of girder only that is YB will be taken as 1.6 meters. And the thickness of web that is ZB will be taken as 0.3 meters. Let the material remain concrete. Click on assign. Click on close. In the subsequent dialog boxes as well. Click on 3D rendered view button to obtain the same. 
click and rotate to you view your bridge from all the sides till here we have completed the modeling of the deck slab now defining the vehicular parameters click on commands button select loading select definitions and select vehicle load as we are drawing as per IRC codes, we will be considering IRC class A wheeled vehicle. The width of the vehicle is 1.8 meters. As per the IRC loading, the loading values and particular distances may be entered directly into the boxes as shown in the video. Should the previous dialog box appear repeatedly, kindly click on yes. Tab button may be used to generate the boxes repeatedly. Click on add. Now the vehicle type reference will change from 1 to 2. Now we define the same vehicle as we did earlier. Click on add and close. Click on load case details from load dialog box. Click on add. Add new load cases dialog box will appear. Click on load generation. Since the loading variation takes place at 0 0.1 meters, for 10 meters the number of loads to be generated will be 100. Click on add and close. Click on generate load and press add button. Keep the type as 1. Click on snap load oblique beam to retrieve the grid. Now as the distance of the outer edge of the wheel from the footpath should be 15 cm as per IRC. Hence keeping x coordinate as 0 and z coordinate equal to the width of the vehicle plus the clear distance which is equal to 15 centimeters we get 1.95 as the value change the x increment to 0 0.1 and click on add now change the type from 1 to 2 now keeping the same considerations in mind as before change z to 7.25 the x increment can be kept as 0.1 only click on add and close so till here we have ended the vehicular load definition click on command select analysis from the drop down menu and click on perform analysis select no print from the dialog box and click on ok Click on Analyze, Run Analysis and click on Save. Rectify errors if any, ignore all the warnings. Over here we have ended the analysis. Now click on Snap Load Beam and remove the grid. Click on the Isometric View button. Click on load case details and select type 1. You will be able to see the particular vehicle loading and same as you click on type 2. Right click on the grid screen, click on labels, click on load values, click on apply. 
and subsequently OK. Now click on Bending Moment MZ. Select the Load Generation panel and run the scroller to see the varying bending moment as the vehicle moves up and down. Now to get the bending moment of a particular girder or beam, click on the desired beam twice to obtain the bridge girders beam dialog box. Click on Shear Bending to view the bending moment. This was nothing but the modeling of bridge, defining vehicle and moving load generation analysis and graphical view. Thank you.